Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is matchsticks to square. You are given an integer array matchsticks where matchsticks is the length of the ith matchsticks. You want to use all the matchsticks to make one square like this. You should not break any stick, you can link them up, and each matchstick must be used exactly one time. Return true if you make this square and false otherwise. So we have a list of matches with the lengths, and we want to see if we could put them all into four sides with equal lengths. Now we sum these up for each side, um, and that would really be it. Now you can look at our constraint and see that the length of our matchstick is only 1 to 15, so it's not that big of an array. So we can already intuit here, we'll probably do something recursive. Now the um, matchsticks themselves can be pretty large, but uh, when you look at the hints, they kind of just tell you straight out, why don't you just try to apply the matchstick to each one of these four sides and see if you could make them all equal. And if you can, recursively, then you can return it true. So uh, that seems easy enough, but the problem is optimizing this is, is very tricky. So uh, we'll build it up step by step. Let's just start thinking, all right, we're not even going to think about optimizing. How do we write this uh, recursion? So let's first get the n. And probably the first thing we want to do is check to see if this is even possible. What we'll do is calculate the perimeter, uh, which would be the sum of match 6. And we got to make sure that this is divisible by 4. right? So to do that, I can just use a modular function. I can say if per uh, modular 4 does not equal 0, immediately return a false. Now otherwise, I'm going to calculate the sides right here, and this would just be perimeter divided by 4. And I'll talk, uh, it's not clear why we have to do that yet, but but I'll, mention, uh, I'll start building it up and showing why. So uh, first thing is we want to write our um, recursion, right? So we'll do a depth first search here, and we need to pass in the lengths at each side. Let's call it A, B, C, and D, as well as the index number that we're on right now. Which matchstick are we checking? So this will be K. So in the beginning, uh, we need our base case. Uh, we'll end our recursion once we find that K is equal to N. And if that's the case, we also need to check, all right, we're at the end of our recursion. Does A equal B and C and D? And if this is the case, then we can return true. Yes, we have found a side where we use all the matches and all the sides equal one another. Now, otherwise, if they don't equal each other, we can just return a false and end our recursion. So at each match stick, what do we want to do? Let's first calculate the match stick that we want. This will be match sticks K. And we are going to uh, try to add to all four of these, right? You can probably do it in a loop somehow, but I'm just going to go straight forward and say, all right, if DFS A plus M and then B, C, D and K plus one, if this is true, then we return true up. And we're going to do the same thing for all four sides here. And I, I realize this is not super clean, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to go with this. So plus M to the B, plus M to the C, and plus M to the D. Now for able to like pass all of these and none of these were true, then we can just return a false. And then we return DFS, we'll start with all zeros and the zero index here. So let's make sure this works at first. Uh, looks like it's working, but it's not gonna uh, pass because it's gonna reach a time limit exception. Now, what are some things we realize that we're probably wasting time on? Well, uh, one of the things is we calculated side here, right? If we find that A plus M is bigger than the side that we calculated, then this is kind of a worthless endeavor because we already know this is going to be over. So th this kind of wastes space here. If we set, we're checking like all the matches into one side, at some point it becomes a waste of time, right? So we should probably just say, look, if um, I guess we can add it here. If A plus M is less than or equal to the side and then call that and this will save us uh, a lot of time going down useless paths that we shouldn't have gone down so let me 
And this would be D, C, and B. Now that would you would think this would work, um, but we're still being a little wasteful here. And the reason for that is we'll be doing a lot of repeats and going down paths that um, that are unnecessary. So say that we had like one 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 and then like four 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 or something like that. Uh, it, it wouldn't really make much sense like doing all these ones first uh, because we'll be going like okay one 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 and then we'll check all these different ones. It's we'll be going down like a lot of um, the least optimal path counting up these numbers well really we should have just started with the largest numbers to see if we can like fulfill the sides first and then take care of the rest which would be a lot shorter okay so rather than doing memoization what we should do here is sort our matchsticks in reverse order so we'll say reverse is true all right so now let's try submitting this And there we go, accepted. So time complexity wise, it's, well, it's not very efficient. It's gonna be four to the nth power. Luckily our n is pretty small, but still that's, that's pretty huge. Um, now there is a method of using bitwise to make this into a two to the nth power, but I found that pretty confusing and really even getting here was very difficult. I think this is a very hard problem. Um, it's easy to just set it up at first, but getting it to pass, I was just hitting time limit exception after time limit, limit exception. And <laughs> yeah, it was very, very hard to actually get this to pass. And the truth is, I, I'm not even completely sure that this is a four to the nth power uh, time complexity because we did a lot of optimizations here. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if that's really the case, but either way it passes think we'll just go with that. I, I think this is a hard problem. I don't think it should be a medium, but what do I know? So, all right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.